Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again with another layout blog video. And this update's going to be fairly short, but it's very significant. As you guys may recall, if you saw my last update video, I was looking for a replacement bridge to go across this gap in front of the door into the train room. Well, I did some looking around online and came across an eBay page owned by a user named MegaB46, I think it is. And they make custom bridges for various scales. And I found this 24-inch through-truss design. And this thing is such an improvement compared to the two girder bridges that I had here before. And it's lightweight. It's made out of poplar. But it's very, very solid. It takes the weight of my trains very well. Now, I've only got it here temporarily just to show you guys what it will look like when it's finished. I'm going to paint the bridge um, eventually, so that will be done. And I'm also going to weather it, just put a, probably just a thin black wash over the paint just to weather it down a little bit so it doesn't look like a brand new bridge. But yeah, this thing fits perfectly. I mean, I can run fast track over it now. The one problem I have ran into is that height-wise, it sits up a little higher, which is why I have these books sitting here to temporarily lift the track up until I can get some more cork to raise up. Because not only am I going to have to add cork to raise it up to the height of the original bench work I've got, I'm also going to have to add a second smaller layer to get up to the height where the track is on the deck of the bridge. So that way I'm flush all the way across. But that is little compared to what I've been having to deal with. And now that this is here, I can run trains through. I don't have to hold, I don't have to put anything underneath it to support the weight. The bridge can just sit here. It's sturdy. And yeah. And clearance issues are really non-existence, non, non-existence, non-existent with this thing. Sorry about that. But it can clear double stacks, auto racks, and panographs on electric locomotives. I ran the Cascade through this thing, which is probably my tallest and heaviest locomotive. The panographs are close to the top of the bridge, but they still clear. They don't scrape. There's no impact. Nothing. And of course, it's so heavy, and the bridge didn't even creak. No noise. Nothing. Very solid design. And this is awesome. I can't wait to add more bridges from this guy because I'm probably going to get another one of these and of course something for the upper level as well so probably going to be sticking with this guy's designs because it's very solid and relatively affordable this bridge costed me $30 on eBay so I will include a link to this guy's store MegaB46 on eBay and y'all can check out his custom made bridges and I highly recommend them. They're really cool. Very simple designs. And he doesn't just have finished designs like this. He also has plans for bridges as well for larger ones that you can't ship. So if you want to make one of these yourself, he also has plans for them. So, yeah. Pretty cool. And I just wanted to share this with you guys real quick. And I'll end the video with just running some random trains over the bridge. And I hope you guys enjoy. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.